Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist. I'm a diabetes educator. Today, I'm going to talk to you about oatmeal. Can you have oatmeal if you have diabetes? Now, great question. Uh, some people love it. Uh, most people love it. Some people don't. Uh, but the question is sometimes that comes to me, hey doc, you know, I'm eating oatmeal. They tell me that the oatmeal is good, but my blood sugar is still spiking. Why? So we'll discuss about that as well. And let's get started. Okay, so basically, oatmeals are fairly good if you want to have carbs in your breakfast. It's better than your white bread. It's better than your other past pastries. So oatmeal is heart healthy. There, there are things in there, beta glucans, etc., that helps your heart. Uh, the thing is, you under you need to understand how much carbs you're getting when you eat oatmeal. So one cup of cooked oatmeal is around 30 grams of carbs, right? So if you're allowed to have 30 grams of carbs, that's it. You cannot have anything else. And then if you start adding stuff on top of it, like other fruits and bananas and stuff like that, then you have to consider that as well, that you're actually multiplying those carbs together. Uh, so you're adding those carbs. So you may end up, instead of 30 grams only, you may end up a total of 60 grams of carbs. So you have to be careful about that. Now, oatmeals are low glycemic index because they're absorbed slowly so that they do not necessarily spike your blood sugar uh, quickly. Now, it will spike your blood sugar. It's just not as quick. Uh, so, uh, I mean, that's a good thing because if you're taking medications, they sometimes take time to get into your blood. And if your blood sugar spikes so fast before medications kick in, and that will be a problem, right? Uh, so, uh, and then, you know, if you are, if your blood sugar is going up uh, very fast, uh, of course, that's going to spike higher, but if it is more like a gradual increase, then you're not going to peak as much in your blood sugars. Uh, so glycemic index of the oatmeals are good. They are, it's below 55. Now, not every oatmeal is the same. You have to really understand that. Now, the best thing you can have is a steel-cut oatmeal, which takes almost 30 minutes to cook. Now, my best suggestion for that would be an Instapot or something that's pressure cook that can get it cooked like within less than uh, five minutes. It's not going to be one minute like the instant oatmeal, uh, which uh, probably most people do, especially if you're working and trying to get to work. Uh, that instant oatmeal, although they keep the nutritional value, but they lose all their fibers because they're heavily processed. So I would stay away from anything that's instant, and I would take time to get these uh, steel-cut oatmeals going if you really want to have your carbs. Again, you can use steel-cut oatmeal uh, instead of a potato at breakfast, which is very high in glycemic index, instead of a white bread, which is very high in glycemic index. Oatmeal is still very good for you as long as you know what's going on. Now, also, um, if you, now you know how much carbohydrates you are getting from, from, the, from the oatmeal, uh, but also you need to understand your body. Some people in the morning especially, they are very, very insulin resistant. Some people will just have a coffee and their blood sugar will spike even with the black coffee. So as a result, you may want to uh, check your blood sugars after meals, after you have that oatmeal. Uh, if your blood sugar is spiking with the oatmeal, that means that you're either not taking enough medication for breakfast or you're very insulin resistant and maybe it would have helped if you exercised the night before or the day before uh, so actually you have to pay attention to that if you're a type 1 that's a different story type 1 diabetics will know exactly how much insulin to take that's not a bad idea actually for them to to eat that oatmeal and and then just take whatever they need to take uh, because they're on insulin and they they know exactly how much to take some type 2 diabetics are insulin they also do the same thing but they are more more insulin resistant typically than type 1 diabetics and their blood sugar will spike way higher sometimes compared to a type 1 diabetic um, so again guys so it's not just about the food you're eating how much you're eating what is the glycemic index of that food and uh, what medications are you on and how insulin resistant you are these are the things you have to consider before you are blaming any food or yourself don't blame anybody just find a way to get it going if the oatmeal is spiking your blood sugar too much and you have nothing else to do uh, then just avoid the oatmeal as simple as that I know it's not the most easy thing to say or easier said than done 
but that's, that's what it is. So you can always be creative and find ways to prevent these blood sugar spikes and we can help you for that as well. Just remember that and we will see you in the next video. Remember to share, remember to give a thumbs up guys. See you later.